Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, we did. We got a lot of things going on, so we had a very busy weekend. Um, so if you saw last Friday's video, you know that um, we have now discontinued as of like the weekend, we have discontinued our normal cutout patterns. And for those of you that might be watching this for the first time, these are uh, something that you can take your router with a template guide and you can actually cut this shape with your router. Um, we've been doing it for decades. Um, but you also know, if you saw Friday's video, you know that we uh, still have um, the paper uh, cutouts. So we have paper versions of all of our cutouts. Um, and whereas this sells for, I think, sold for 25, this sells for five bucks. So it's just a paper. And what this video, and I think probably Wednesday's video is gonna be all about, and if you, again, if you saw Friday's video, you know, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go through the entire process of exactly how I'm gonna turn that into an HDPE out of this piece, actually. I'm gonna show you the whole process of how I turn that paper pattern through a series of processes into a pattern that you can use um, out of HDPE. Of all the years that we've been doing videos, we've never showed how we actually make our HDPE patterns. And we, we get that question on a regular basis. And I've always wanted to do a video on it. Now seems like the perfect time since we're not gonna have the MDF available anymore, the cutout patterns. It's just uh, became so cumbersome tough to ship and everything and this is going to be so much better for you guys because you can buy any shape that we've got for five bucks so and we're going to be constantly adding in fact you saw the new shape on friday's video the new shape um i think i've got a paper version of it around here somewhere oh yeah it's right over there hang on so this is the the new shape that we're calling I think we're calling it fancy something anyway so it makes a really cool little um, little shape for a sign and we're going to be coming up with more and more shapes all the time uh, we're really excited about that and all of them will be five bucks five bucks five bucks that's it um, and then that will allow you with this video and probably Wednesday's video to take a paper shape and literally turn it into a pattern that you can cut thousands with with your router um, and if everything goes right, no sanding, no, uh, no saw, no scroll saw, no, uh, band saw, uh, everything can be done with your router. So, um, that's what I've done forever. Um, but just never done the HDP version of it. So anyway, stay tuned. Vicky's not filming with me today. She's in the office. She's kind of boggled down with a bunch of office stuff so bear with me I'm gonna the next scene I'm gonna point down and you're just gonna see my hands uh, and we're gonna start this process right now so hang on all right we're back so uh, before I forget I forgot to mention in the last scene the live to, in case you haven't seen the live to ride sign if you've been watching for any time you probably have but this is what we're trying the shape that we're trying to cut for the sign um, and we have a layout template for this and we still have all of our layout templates um, but anyway so this is the shape this is the sign that we're uh, trying to cut the shape for so let's uh, move on now the other thing that I didn't mention is we have a whole playlist that is dedicated just to uh, cutting shapes with your router so what we're gonna start with first, oh, oh, and that playlist is called Template. There's 22 videos in there, uh, and every one of those videos have to deal with cutting, uh, cutting shapes with, uh, with your router and uh, using um, cutout templates. So we're just gonna, with these videos, we're gonna teach you how to make your own cutout templates. So we've got our, we've got our shape. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, an MDF template that we will then use that to make our HDPE template. So 
Uh, now, we've, a couple different ways you can do this. I could use spray adhesive and, and spray this, stick it on the board, and then do it that way, and then use that shape. But that's not the way I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stick it to the board. Uh, I'm going to use this little adhesive tape. You guys have seen me use this before. It's really, really good stuff. It's a smaller version, honestly, of the, the bigger one that I use. Um, but it's very, very handy. If you guys don't have some of this, man, I'm telling you what, it is really, really handy. So I'm just going to put some pieces of that on there. Let's see. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to stick that to my board, to my MDF, giving me plenty of room all the way around. Now I'm, I'm literally just going to spray it, just like I would a layout letter. If you guys have seen me lay out signs with my layout letters. I'm just using the primer. But you, honestly, on this, you could use paint. You could use any kind of any kind of spray, honestly. You could use the ink. I'm using the primer because that's what I've got. So now, if all goes well, we should be able to just peel that right off. And it gives us a nice line to go by. And now the reason, one of the reasons I like to do it this way is because now... You can just put that right back um, in, its, uh, in its deal that you get from us. And in case you ever need that again, it's perfectly usable. If you stuck it to the board and then carved through it, you, uh, this would be, you know, you, you'd have to buy another one if you ever need it. You shouldn't, but now I can just take that and I take that and just put it up on a shelf somewhere so I've got it if I ever need it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this road show outside and um, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and cut that shape with my router freehand. So next scene, we'll be outside making some sawdust. All right, we are outside and I have my camera person back. Woohoo! So thank you, thank you, Miss Vicky, for being behind the camera. Um, that helps me not have to squint and look at the screen. It's crazy. Anyway, all right, so um, I'm going to get into cutting this thing. But first thing I want to mention is I know, I know I'm going to try and kind of head off some of the comments and stuff. I know you guys, some of you guys are saying, Eric, why are you making it so complicated? Just use a scroll saw and, and cut that thing out with a scroll saw. Well, yeah, I guess you can. Uh, I hate scroll saws. Sorry, I just don't like them. So uh, I'm a router guy. So I don't think it's complicated. For me, I don't think it's complicated at all. Uh, this is my way. So that's all I'm doing here, just showing you how I do it. So um, we are going to use, and this, I've never done this before. I, actually, I've done it once before. Yesterday, I tried this because I wanted to prove that it worked. Um, I'm actually going to cut the first uh, cut around my shape uh, with my profile bit. So um, I'll explain to you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it with my profile bit, and I'm going to stay away from the line just a little bit. You'll see that. Um, and uh, the thing about this MDF, though, uh, definitely wear a mask. I, uh, I did some cutting with MDF one time. It was much more cutting than this. I went for a couple hours cutting, and I wasn't wearing a mask, and I got violently ill. Um, but then again, for me, violently ill as I threw up once. So I don't take real well to throwing up. Some of you guys can just ah and be done with it. Me, and that's my wife, she can do, me, nah, -uh. I'd almost rather cut off a toe than, than go through that. Anyway, so Vicky's giving me, you know, all right, get on with it. All right, so uh, definitely wear a mask when you're cutting MDF. And if you feel unsafe cutting anything, uh, wear a mask. Go ahead. I, I'm, I normally don't. So let's do it. Let's get into it. It's a little chilly this morning, so. It's not bad. Not bad. But it's not near as bad as it has been. I think it, it must be up over 40 degrees right now. It's kind of nice. All right. 
So, we have our half inch MDF. And I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I'm wearing the actual lapel mic today, so that should help. Uh, let's plug this thing in. And, um, babe, can you make sure the compressor is turned off over there? I don't want that thing going on while we're cutting. Thank you. All right, here we go. So I'm just, uh, just using the profile bit, and I've got it set where I want it, and it is about 3 16 Here we go. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Almost, here we go. All right, now we're ready. Okay, so there's our first initial rough cut. Now we're going to come back on the next scene and we'll do our second cut. Okay guys, so um, here's what we're going to do next. I've got now the spiral upcut bit in there and I'm going to cut, um, this is something I haven't done for a while. My sacrifice piece is a piece of uh, styrofoam and I really, I've used that in the past but I haven't used it in quite a while. Um, I really like it because it tends to really kind of uh, stay good on this, on my rubber pad and uh, the board tends to kind of stick pretty good. So um, I've got no adhesive on on there it's just the board sitting on my uh, piece of styrofoam this is just two inch uh, insulation foam board that we had left over from something else anyway so I'm set um, deep enough to now go all the way through on one cut and I'm gonna just again kind of rough it out follow this line that I've got uh, already so again now we're gonna really be cutting some material so um, we're gonna not only use the mask but the other thing is, this uh, spiral up cut bit really chatters. So we're gonna wear ear protection. So Vicki's got her mask and her ear protectors on and I'm putting mine on after I put my cheaters on. This is quite a look, by the way. All right, there we go. Ugh. Let's get after it. Oh, I think I better plug it in. Make sure it's off. Ugh. 
All right, try it again. Here we go. Okay, there is our roughed out piece. Little dust on the camera. There's our roughed out piece. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a second and we're going to kind of trim that up. All right, folks, so here's what we're gonna do now. So we've got this thing roughed out. Now what I really like about this process is if it's done right, which I hope I can do it right, um, once this process is done here, this operation, it'll be ready to use. You shouldn't have to do any sanding um, or nothing. We're just gonna trim the whole thing up with the same router bit that we've used. I haven't changed anything on the router. We're going to uh, trim it up right now. So um, this is not going to make much noise, so I'm not wearing my ear protectors, but I am still wearing the mask. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I know you guys, and I have said this in the past, that I wouldn't cut really heavy cuts with this uh, 611, but the more I use it, the more I realize this little thing has got more power than I gave it credit for. So that's the reason I use the little one rather than, and the fact that some of that material, you can see some of that material was already cut away. So anyway, that's the reason I use this because I just, it's a little easier to maneuver. Here we go. So you can see guys that after I do that, now is when I'm going to bring it right into that line or really close to that line. But you can see that's a nice, I take my time just like I did there, take my time and uh, just trim that thing up. Just don't try and take too much, um, too much meat at one time. 
So I'm going to make one more little area here. I'm going to take this section and then I'll do the rest of it off camera. But I want you guys really to see what I'm doing there. Okay, guys, see what I mean there? It's nice and... Put it back down. Oh, that's the shape that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up all the way around just like that. Then when we come back, then we'll uh, take the next step. All right, guys, so um, I got this thing all done. Um, it, it is, again, complete now as far as the edges go, the shape. That this way, way? That way. Turn it that way. I, what are you trying to tell me? Turn it that way. Gotcha. Well, you said that. You're pointing. Uh, okay. I'm pointing that way. Turn it that way. That way. Oh, my God. What? I don't Had know it. what you're... All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe I had to go back to filming myself. <laughs> I think I'm pissing off the queen. <laughs> All right, so I got all the lines smooth, no sanding, and that's what I really like about this process, guys. Um, it's ready now to, uh, now I'm going to attach it to the HDPE, and I'm going to cut my shape out of there. So we're going to do that. I'm getting the stink eye again. Should I turn it you, that you, way? No. I you, turned it. You stuck that HDPE right in front of the board, and anyway. Sorry. All right. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. All right, so it, it's too cold to be arguing. We got to get inside by the heater. Um, okay, so uh, on Wednesday's video, we're going to wrap this thing up. I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, cut my HDPE out of it. But there's several things that you really have to be careful with. So um, that is it. On this, guys, we won't go on way long enough, and we're starting to get on each other's nerves. We're going to have a fight right here on camera here pretty quick, UFC uh, version. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, any questions on this, please email me, eric at makerwoodsign.com. Um, uh, if you need any supplies, you know how to get a hold of us on the website. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Just be sure and click that little bell icon and make sure that you get notification. I'm posting every day on Instagram, Make a Wood Sign. And uh, that is it. So thanks, guys, and we love you all. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.